I am adjunct Professor Kylie Ward. I am the CEO of the Australian College of Nursing. And this morning we are here in Parliament House in December to launch our white paper, A New Horizon for Health Services Optimising Advanced Practice Nurses. It's been an exciting morning. There's still some uh, people around. The energy in the room is great. And we have had our Minister for Health, the Honorary Greg Hunt, uh, launch our white paper. The uh, leader of the Green Senator, Richard Di Natale, has spoken about the importance of nurses in uh, primary health care and preventative strategies. And the uh, Shadow Minister for Health, the Honourable Chris Bowen, has also spoken about our white paper. The Australian nursing workforce is underutilised. Currently, advanced practice nurses comprise 9% of the total nursing workforce, with 26,000 clinicians Australia-wide. While they are our most senior clinical nurses, Many are constrained from working to their full scope of practice. ACN believes this needs to change. Nurse-led models of care in which advanced practice nurses play a significant role in service provision must feature in the future. This is not an argument about competition, but about collaboration. Whilst the general practitioner service model is important to the health of Australian communities, it is no longer sufficient. ACN's proposing a new model of collaboration, one that recognises the unique contribution of both disciplines to enhance the health and welfare of all sectors of our community. The assertion that nurses lack the training to make clinical decisions is ill-informed Ill and outdated. Nurses and doctors have always worked together. It's now widely acknowledged internationally that nurses can provide a clinical and very valuable service that's better suited to the healthcare needs of some consumer, consumer groups. That then brings me to the work of the College of Nursing on the New Horizon for Health Service Optimising Advanced Practice Nursing White Paper. That complements what we are doing and, uh, Christine, I'm delighted to announce today that we will invite the College to work with Alison in integrating the White Paper directly into the Vision 2030 for nursing. And uh, so it's not often you get to launch and adopt uh, in the same speech, uh, the same paper, but that's uh, a capacity to do that immediately. We're in a fortunate position that we have the vehicle, uh, we have the process, and now we will work together on that joint shared outcome. And this paper, above all else, when you dig into the detail, the message is very clear, that nurses can do more, should do more, and now they will do more. I want to thank you and honour you, and I am delighted to officially launch the Australian College of Nursing's White Paper. Nurses and nursing leaders have travelled from all over Australia to be here in this historical moment this morning. This is only the second time in the history of our nursing profession and Australia where a white paper has been launched at Parliament House. And it is with great pleasure that I introduce to you Chris O'Donnell, who is the chair of the Advanced Practice Community of Interest for the Australian College of Nursing, to say a few words. Over to you, Chris. So thank you for, uh, for the introduction, Kylie. Um, it's really good to be here today um, to really explore what could be a new horizon for nursing. Um, it's really about celebrating the power of what we could achieve when we unleash nursing um, and work to our, our, our full scope of practice. What we've seen here today is the start of a conversation that's going to take quite some time to, to finish. It's really about what nursing can do and how nursing can value add to the broader um, health system in Australia. Uh, we are 415,000 strong. We are the largest component of the healthcare workforce uh, and we have a lot to give. Um, uh, nursing is often uh, seen as, as working with one arm tied behind its back uh, and uh, we want to unleash uh, and bring that arm to the front and really give uh, the Australian public everything that nursing can provide. And that's what the Advanced Practice uh, White Paper is all about. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate that. This is uh, all about advocating for all levels of nursing, our senior nursing clinicians. These two gentlemen are a fine example of our men in nursing that are nurse practitioners and advanced practice nurses. I think what today's white paper is doing is starting the discussion about the opportunity for advanced practice nursing in the healthcare profession and in nursing itself. Nursing has unmet potential or un 
unprecedented abilities that they are not fully being utilised at the moment. I think that's the opportunity in front of us that this white paper sets out a pathway that enables nurses to be part of the solution and be able to provide more working at full scope uh, to the healthcare and the health of the community. Doesn't it? A new horizon, the dawn of a, a new decade. We're only weeks away uh, from a new decade and a new time to deliver healthcare where we stand and lead as we should as the nursing profession. I would also like to thank Senator Richard De Natale and the Honourable Chris Bowen for joining us and saying those important words. It is very important that we get to hear what our leaders think. When you think of the huge burden of chronic disease that's coming down the line, uh, when you think of um, the incentives uh, within our primary health care system that aren't directed at providing a quality care and outcomes, but are really about throughput, you realise that we've got a lot of work to do. And the challenge for us here in this place is to ensure that we get primary health care reform right, to integrate the strategies you've identified in your white paper so that we can ensure that we have the world's best health system. I mean, those skills that you have, they exist. Uh, as the college has pointed out, they don't just exist in capital cities. You've got this incredibly um, widely distributed workforce. And uh, when we know the inequity of access when you live in regional and rural Australia, it, ensuring that you've got advanced practice nurses operating at full capacity is actually making sure that Australians get access to decent healthcare. That's what it's about. I hope that uh, what we end up with as a result of this process is that every single Australian, no matter where they live, can get access to the skills and expertise, empathy and compassion that you all demonstrate through the work that you do. Very pleased, of course, to join with Greg and Richard in supporting your white paper, a very good report. To me, it says two key things. Primary care is in need of reform and nursing has a, a key role to play in that reform. And of course, I agree with both. Nurses should be part of that conversation about how we lift the focus on preventative health care in Australia as well as primary health care reform. This work has been the culmination of well over a year and many discussions and debates and collaboration and consultation with the profession. Uh, each of you have a copy today. It will be widely distributed. It is now up to us as the leaders in this great country to get this message across to every nurse, every health service, every environment. Uh, we've heard the Minister say this will be uh, taken up by the Commonwealth Chief Nurse and adopted, and we have our role to play in that. Thank you for being part of this historic moment, and uh, I uh, look forward to seeing how in the next decade, the third decade of the 21st century, we actually do move forward and take the profession where it needs to in the interest of every person in Australia that requires the best of us. Thank you. There is an army of almost 10% of registered nurses, 26,000 registered nurses are considered advanced practice nurses. It is the dawn of a new day, it is the horizon of new healthcare where nurses should work to the full scope of practice. It is time for governments and communities to expect nothing less than uh, nurses are utilised fully for the betterment of every community, for every Australian throughout all of this great country. There is no health system without nurses and advanced practice nurses should be acknowledged for their contribution as senior clinicians of our health workforce. Thank you.